What's up, everybody? It's your boy Mighty Go. We're back again with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna do a little, uh, a little tip video on MLB The Show 18. I did this last year, I think. I can't really remember, but it's like the easiest, quickest ways to make stubs in, uh, in Diamond Dynasty, I guess. I mean, don't think it's like, oh, I could just do this one thing and then just make a billion stubs. I mean, you kind of can, but you have to do it for a while. So, uh, what do you want to do, okay? And before I actually say this, in packs, if you want to buy packs, I usually don't say this, but now is the best time to buy packs. You might be wondering why, because the prices of cards are literally so freaking high, and it is actually worth the risk to spend a thousand stubs to risk getting uh, to risk getting a good card or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So if you open a pack for a thousand and get a silver, you can almost still sell that silver for a thousand. But if you do that like two, three months from now, the silver is going to be worth like maybe a hundred. But they're going for like eight, nine hundred now. So if you want to buy packs. Now's the time to do it. I can't believe I'm actually saying that, but uh, you know what? Let's just do this. I'm gonna show you real quick. So I bought a thousand stubs worth of packs. It's only one pack. We're gonna open it. Hopefully I pull a diamond or something. So look, we got a silver. Okay, we got Josh Reddick, okay? And he's an Astro, which is actually pretty legit. So let me show you. So I spent a thousand on that. The pack was pretty bad. Uh, like that's a horrible pack, right? So if you go to 79, okay? 79 right there, boom. Josh Reddick, where you at? Where you at? Right there. I literally made stubs on that pack. Like, see what I mean? And that was a horrible pack. So we're going to go ahead and create a sell order for uh, about 260 263 Boom. Finalize order. Right freaking there. So yeah, boys, right there. As you see, I literally made stubs. And that pack was terrible. So if you guys want to open packs, do it right now. That's a good way to make stubs. I mean, it's not really making stubs. You're risking it, but the, the, the odds of getting money back is slightly higher than it usually is. So make sure you do that. But back... To how you make stubs okay this is like insider information okay and i can't believe i'm actually telling you this i know people are gonna get mad because they do this but what you want to do okay is you want to filter your searches to uh i mean it depends on how much you're willing to risk if you got a lot of stubs you can even do it with diamonds but what you want to do is um yeah let's just start from the top here you want to scroll through and i highly recommend doing it with live series so make sure you guys are on live series uh players here um can you not even do that oh right here live series okay so what you want to do is do live series and you want to search for a high buy now order compared to a high sell now order so right here trout he has a buy now of 369,900 and a sell now of 315,000 and that's it. I, I'm sorry. I'm burping. My bad. But uh, so right there, if you were to buy him, I don't have enough steps to do this, but I'll show you a card that I can do it with and I'll show you ones I've been doing it with. So if you want to buy trout, what you want to do is you want to buy them for as cheap as possible. So you want to create a buy order for like one to two steps above the current sell now order. So if that, I know that makes no sense, but let me show you. So you, what you want to do is if you're looking to buy trout. You want to hit on the buy thing and you want to make it one step higher than what this is. Okay. See how this is 350. So you want to go create buy order and you want to make it 300 15,000 and one It's not gonna let me because I don't have enough stubs But you finalize order and it would say okay, whatever and when you do that You will be the top sell now order So if someone packs trout and they don't want to wait for someone to buy it and they just want to sell them They will sell them to you for 315,000 or one stub and then once you have trout and you want to sell them You sell them for one cheaper than the current buy now So you go to the sell now and you go create sell order and you go 369,899. Boom. So you finalize the order. And as you see, so you bought him for 315,000 and you sell him for 369, which means it's, which means you will receive 332,000, as you see right on the screen there, which means you'll make what? 15, 16, 17,000 stubs on that one transaction. Now that's like the high ones. Oh, for a second there, I thought I just got trout. I was like, how did I just get trout? I was going to freak out if I did. But look, my completed order. So right there, I sold Josh Reddick. Easy as that. I bought the pack five seconds ago and sold Trout. Or sold Josh Reddick for a freaking profit. So yeah, right there. But yeah, what another one you can do is stadiums. And I know this video kind of sucks. I'm just trying to show you the best way. It's really confusing. But stadiums, for example. Let me go... Uh, stadiums and then you go here so you're searching for ones like right here marlins park you can buy it now for 459 or sell it now for 99 so what i would do if i was wanting this uh see i already have four okay this is perfect well i'll show you anyway so let me create buy order price i want him for 100 stubs boom finalize order okay so as you see there i am the top sell now order 
for uh, for Marlins Park. And let's say I get the Marlins Park and I want to sell them. I go create sell order and sell them for one cheaper for the buy now. So four nine or four forty eight finalized order. Boom. So that means I will be making three hundred and three stubs per transaction. As you guys, if you guys, if you guys don't get what I'm saying, let me create another sell order for four. Four, eight, finalized. And as you see there, the seller would receive 403. So I bought the stadium for 100 and I'm selling them for 403. And that means I'm making 303 stubs back or whatever. Finalized order, boom. And we can do that actually one more time. Create sell order, 403. Oh wait, 448, boom. Finalize order. And once again, it takes time to do. So don't think you're just going to instantly get the stubs. I mean, stadiums are selling really quick. So Marlins Park's a good one. Um, Coors Field's a good one. Let me see if I got any of these. See, right now, I'm actually going to buy these. Great buy order. 93. Boom. Finalize order. Okay. We're going to do another one. Great buy order. 90. Oh, crap. 93. Finalize order. And I'm pretty sure you could actually quick sell the stadiums for cheaper. But, uh... I don't think people do that. I'm pretty sure people just come in and quick sell all their uh, all their guys. So let me go here. And then 93 again. Boom. Finalize order. All right. So we have four course fields waiting for us to buy. Okay. And then once we get them, we're going to sell them for 459. Or yeah, 459. Which means we're probably going to make... What would that be? Let's say we get one. Buy, sell. Um, let's see here. 459. So we bought them for 93. We're selling them for 459. And that would make us... 413 minus 93. I can't do the math, but at least 300 stubs. So right there. And these things go quick. See, look. Let me see what I just completed. Completed order. Look at that. I just bought Marlins Park for 100. So now we're going to go to Marlins Park. And let me buy, sell. We're going to create sell order for 444. Four, four. Boom. Finalize order. Right there. Easy as that. Easy as that. And now that one's hopefully going to sell. But let me search for some more guys here. And you can do it with players too. Don't forget players. And a lot of these, like these, uh, like Riverboat Field, you can buy them for 7 and sell them for 99 I personally don't go as low as bronze, but a lot of people do. And they make a lot of subs doing it. So you can do it that way as well. Um, let's see here. Let me see if there's any big ones. Citizens Bank Park. That was actually pretty expensive. But, uh, I mean, you'll still make stubs doing it that way. Um, any of these worth it? Polo Grounds, you might be able to make stubs. It's pretty expensive, though. Um, uh, Old Atlanta, you might be able to make stubs. Barely any, though. But let me show you equipment, too. I don't know if equipment's gonna be good. Um, let's see here. Diamonds are pretty expensive. Like, you'll definitely make stubs on this one. Let me see here. Buy, sell. Let me say I sell one for 390 390 let me go. 39998. You buy it for 27. So yeah, you'll make like 8,000 on that one if you can actually manage to do it. Those will take a little longer since they're actually the Griffin Cleats might not take that long. I don't know. You just got to find what works. Like this this glove right here. 29,000 compared to 70,000. Let me uh let me create sell order at tw Oh crap. Let me create sell order at 29900. Boom. So yeah, you'd be making like 9,000 on that one. So you see what I'm saying? It's pretty easy. Once you get the routine down, it's pretty easy. Um, another one I actually wanted to look at was not stadiums, but was like the uniforms and stuff. Like 801 to 2,000. That one's actually pretty solid. Um, 650 to 1,400. 801. Let me see how much you would make on these. 14, crap. 1429. Let's see here. 1420. Nine. Twelve. So yeah, you'll be doubling your stubs on that one. So I might actually try that one. Let me create buy order at 651. Boom. And a lot of these jerseys are being sold and bought right now because uh, there's actually a collection for the jerseys and you actually get decent rewards. So that's another thing you want to look at is like the exchange. Uh, or not the exchange, my bad. The programs. And um, so where is it? Did I already pass it? I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, right here. So, like, the jerseys, okay? So, jerseys, if you do all these, you get Diamond Garakul, which is probably a pretty good card. The hats are another thing that sells pretty good. I don't know why. Um, the bobbleheads are probably pretty good, too. Yeah, bobbleheads, you get 87 Joe Carter. Pretty solid. The baseballs, you get 90 Ryan Sandberg. 
And uh, yeah, and once, and another thing I forgot to say, once the uh, the player epics come out, like if uh, the Nationals have 99 Andre Dawson again, uh, the cards are going to absolutely freaking skyrocket. So if you're willing to risk it, I would suggest um, getting Bryce Harper. I know he goes for a lot. 189000 is pretty expensive, but his price is going to be pretty stable all year. But if the player epics come out and Andre Dawson is the player epic for the Nationals again, this card is going to be at least 300000 because everyone's going to want it. But it depends on the ranking for Andre Dawson. If this card is over 100 for that stuff, which it very easily could be, uh, that card, or that this card right here could be 400000 500000 I don't know, but... Um, yeah, guys, so that's pretty much plain and simple what you want to do. I know this video might have been a little confusing. It might have been a little long. I don't know, but that's literally what you want to do. You want to buy cards for as cheap as possible and then sell them for as expensive as possible. Let me show you my completed orders here. So, uh, yeah, let me see here. So, Bush Stadium, look at these. I sold them 400, 400, 200, 429, 209, 229, 322, 70. So, look at this. Um, I bought Dodger Stadium for 70 and I sold it for 229 so that one wasn't the greatest. But uh, there's Ichiro. So Ichiro, I sold it for 379 Ichiro. And I bought Ichiro for 56 You see what I'm saying? Uh, Bush Stadium, 91 I sold those for 424 um, Ichiro, like I said, 56 Yankee Stadium, I bought for 46 I sold Yankee Stadium for... I might not have even listed Yankee Stadium, to be honest with you. Yeah, I must not have even listed them. Huh. Let me go see here. Let me go Yankee Stadium real quick. See, this is kind of exciting, too. It's kind of like the stock market. Um, where's Yankee Stadium at? See, right there. So I bought Yankee Stadium for however much. I can't remember what I just said. And I'm going to sell it for 274 So I'm going to at least make like 200 stubs, probably. So finalize order. Boom. And like I said, it takes time to do it. But if you do this... You can probably make ten to 50,000 stubs an hour just doing this. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you work a couple hours on it at night and you go to bed, I almost guarantee you, you'll get a lot of completed orders. But you got to keep checking it. Some people will undercut you by one stub like I did that guy. But so many people are buying and selling these uh, these stadiums and cars right now that uh, you pretty much are guaranteed to sell them if you put them up there and if you buy them. I mean, if you do something ridiculous, you're not going to do it. But if you're around, like, if you're competitive with your prices, you're definitely going to sell them pretty quick and you're definitely going to make a pretty penny. So make sure you guys do that, and it will be the show 17, or it will be the show 18 if you guys want to make a lot of stuff. So that's probably going to this video. If I come up with any more tips or tricks or anything like that, I will definitely let you guys know. Let me know in the comment section below what cards you guys are listing, selling, and stuff to give people uh, tips if you guys are willing to do it. I pretty much gave you guys my stuff making tips right there. Like uh, last night, I think I went from 1,000 to 20,000 in about 30 minutes flipping some of these cards. So uh, it's easy to do, man. But then again, I sold some, uh, some gold cards. So I don't know exactly how many I made. But you make a lot of stuff so make sure you guys do that and uh yeah make sure you slap a like on too if you guys want more tips leave a comment below subscribe and i'll see you in the next video oh, peace <laughs>